Hello everyone, this is Dr. Surya. So today we are going to see a derivation for most economical rectangular channel. So when the section of a channel is said to be most economical, so when the cost of construction is going to be minimum, then the channel is going to be called as a most economical section or most economical channel. But how do we make the cost of construction to be less? So the mainly thing it depends on the excavation and lining of the channel. So if you want to keep the cast down or cast minimum, the wetted perimeter for the given discharge to be minimum. Now what is wetted perimeter? So if you take a rectangular channel, so this is going to be a rectangular channel and the water is flowing like this and this is going to be the width of the channel that is B and this is going to be the depth of the channel D. So again this is also is a depth of the channel D. So wetted perimeter is something like that B plus D plus D. So where and all the water is touching the channel that we call it as a wetted perimeter. So if you see here the water is touching in the D B and D which means the wetted perimeter will be B plus D plus D otherwise B is equal to B plus 2D this is going to be the wetted perimeter of the channel. So the main condition for the wetted perimeter is when the discharge is going to be maximum wetted perimeter should be minimum. So we are in need of the maximum discharge in order to get the maximum discharge we are going to keep our wetted perimeter to be minimum. So keeping this as condition we are going to derive the most economical rectangular channel. So what will be the conditions for the most economical uh, rectangular channel? Okay, so most economical section is also called as best section or most efficient section because discharge is passing through this most economical section for a given cross sectional area and here the resistance coefficient is also is going to be the maximum one. So the main condition is discharge is going to be maximum and our wetted perimeter is going to be minimum. So let us go for this derivation how we are going to derive for it. So we all know the area is going to be BD that is breadth into depth. So we will keep this as equation number 1 and wetted perimeter is equal to B plus 2D that I keep it as 2. So from 1 what I am do, going to do is that I am going to uh, take uh, or I am going to tell breadth in terms of depth. So which is from 1 A is equal to BD. So my B will be equal to A by D. This I am keeping it as third equation. Okay. So substitute this 3 in 2. Which means P is equal to instead of B I am going to substitute A by D plus 2D. I keep this equation as 4. Okay. So what we have done? We have substituted breadth in terms of depth. So what is the condition for our most economical section? Our wetted perimeter should be minimum. So if it is minimum means dp by we are going to differentiate it with respect to d is should be 0. That is we are going to differentiate this wetted perimeter with respect to our depth. So what we are going to do? We are going to differentiate equation number 4 with respect to depth and then with respect to d that is your depth and we are equating the same to 0. Okay. So uh, the formula becomes r d by d of d instead of p I am having a by d plus 2d which is equal to 0. So what I have done? So instead of p I have substituted a by d plus 2d. Now I have to differentiate this. So what is the formula for differentiation? x bar n is equal to nx bar n minus 1. This is the formula. So we will uh, just segregate this into 2. That is d by d, d of d of a by d. Okay, this is one thing. Plus d by d of d of 2d. This is equal to 0. Both the terms are equal to 0. Now if you see here, if you take the first term, the main aim is to differentiate with respect to d. So d is in denominator, I can write this as d by d of d of a into d power minus 1. So I can write like this, right? Then plus d by d of d of 
2 into d is equal to 0. Now I am having in the x term, I am having my d term because I am going to differentiate with respect to d. So this can be rewritten as, so instead of x, I will be writing as d and if you see here, the power is minus 1. So it is something like d power minus 1. So d power minus 1, if I differentiate, it becomes minus 1 of x power minus 1 minus 1, which becomes minus 1 x power minus 2. So instead of x, I am having d, so which is minus 1 d power minus 2. Now I come here, so this part I am having my d alone, that is d power 1 is there. Okay, so if d power 1 is there, as per the formula, instead of in n place, I am having 1, n is equal to 1. And in x place, I am having my d. Okay, so x place, I am having my d. So I will be having 1 into d power 1 minus 1. So which is going to be 1 into d power 0. So anything power 0 is equal to 1. So now I can easily substitute here. So, which is A is going to be, I can keep my A as such. So, which is, I will be having A. And instead of uh, d power minus 1, it is nothing but minus of d power minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. So, this can be written as A by d square plus 2 is equal to 0. So, I am going to write this equation as 5. Or, if we can simplify this into further, uh, let me not write this as equation 5. We can simplify it as minus a by d squared is equal to minus 2. So, though both the minus will be cancelled. So, a by d squared is equal to 2. a will be equal to 2 d squared. So, let me take this as equation number 5. Now, already we know a is equal to b by d, b into d. So, from equation number 1, okay, we know that a is equal to bd. Okay, again, I write this as equation number 6. Now, what I am going to do is that I am going to substitute this fifth equation in equation number 6. So, instead of a, I will be substituting 2d squared is equal to bd. So, in that case, 1d will get cancelled. So, I will be getting b is equal to 2d. So, this is going to be my 7th equation. Okay. And I, all, I also know that hydraulic mean depth r is equal to a by p. Okay. Hydraulic mean depth or hydraulic radius is r is equal to a by p. Area by wetted perimeter. So, area is b into d and wetted perimeter is b plus 2d. So, I just keep this as equation number 8. So, what I have uh, determined from equation 7, some from 7, it is going to be b is equal to 2d. So, what I am going to do, instead of, uh, keep this as equation 9, so instead of b, I am going to substitute as 2d. That is, r is equal to, instead of b, it is 2d into d divided by 2d plus 2d. Okay, so this becomes 2d squared by 4d. So, d and d will get cancelled. 2 and 4 will get cancelled. I will be getting r is equal to d by 2. Okay, so what are the conditions I have? b is equal to 2d and r is equal to d by 2. So, it is clear that when the rectangular channel is should be most economical means either my b, uh, b should be equal to 2d that is width should be equal to 2 times the depth of the flow or hydraulic depth should be half the depth of the flow. So, if this condition satisfies then the rectangular channel will be the most economical channel. Thank you and happy learning.